Hello there. My name is Ben Ryder with Stewardship Advisors. Today I'm here with Thomas Talbot and we're going to be answering your questions about single charity funds. Many of you watching this video do an amazing job supporting charitable organizations every year. And today we'd like to introduce a tool that can help you leverage your giving, single charity funds. So Thomas, what is a single charity fund? Well, think of it this way. It's a charitable checkbook for one 501c3 organization. Donor advised funds, or DAPs for short, have become quite popular over the last number of years. And there's many similarities that single charity funds have to DAPs. You get a charitable deduction in the year that you fund it with cash or with assets. There's no mandated schedule that you have to gift the money. You can do that in the year the contribution was made, or you can let those assets grow for gifting in the future. They are both low cost turnkey giving solutions. And if you'd like to learn more about donor advised funds, there's a great article on the blog section of our website entitled eight things you should know about donor advised funds. And we'll have that link below. Now, Thomas, you mentioned there's some similarities and differences between donor advised funds and single charity funds. Could you explain that a little bit more for us? With a donor advised fund, you determine who is going to get the money, when it comes out, and how much. With a single charity fund, you only can take care of the last two, when and how much. All the money that comes out of the single charity fund has to go to a predetermined designated charity. But one of the big unique factors with a single charity fund is that it can be funded with qualified charitable distributions. These are charitable gifting that is done out of an IRA for those that are age 70 and older. The limit right now is $100,000 per year which may be a great amount to fund one of these single charity funds or multiple charity funds, as Ben has mentioned. So the single charity fund is really the only giving fund that can receive qualified charitable distributions. Unfortunately, a donor advised fund can't do that. So Ben, tell us some of the advantages of a single charity fund. Sure. So we've heard that sometimes smaller charitable organizations appreciate when their donors give using single charity funds because the funds come in over a number of years and that allows those funds to support new and ongoing projects. Also, for the donors, it's a great tool to use when you'd like to preserve the growth of uh, equity and give for years to come. Now you may wonder, why would you use a fund where you can only support one charitable organization? In reality, you can open as many single charity funds as you would like. So for example, if there's three charitable organizations you're looking to support, you can open three single charity funds to support those organizations. Additionally, you may want to open a single charity fund and invite friends and family to contribute to it to help you with a personal fundraising goal for an organization you all are passionate about. Also, for those of you who are considering moving to a retirement community, the single charity fund can be a powerful tool. So in conclusion, remember two things. One, a single charity fund can only go to one charity. And number two, the funding can be done with qualified charitable distributions, unlike any other fund that is out there. Now you may be wondering if this giving tool is right for you. If so, please call our office and we'd love to take a look at your specific situation and analyze for charitable giving techniques. Thank you for watching today's video and we look forward to answering more of your questions on other topics in our next video.